So someone asked me to make a table on how to scale uh, Gen 3 um, Spark tables. Um, unfortunately, you really can't. If you're talking about scaling here or here, you can't do it, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but I can kind of go over what you need to do for SparkWise for Gen 3. Now what you're looking at here is you're looking at, and let me undo this, you're looking at the high octane table for a Silverado. Now let's say this Silverado had a cam and you were going to do some performance stuff with it and it was a quality build. Okay, good place to start. Add three to the whole table. Zero this out here. Zero this out here. Zero this out here. Zero this out here. Grab the whole table. Hit it. Hit smooth a few times. Now, one of the things that I personally don't like is I don't like this square crab. Um, so what I end up doing here is I take this. I go here just go like this because to be honest timing table shouldn't be square your engine can't physically move like that yeah, it just can't do it um, so you don't need to have this weird square here because it's, it's it's not a thing okay so grab it let's smooth it out a little bit more okay now from here you can obviously go out you can drive it you can adjust timing there now this obviously would be like i would say 90 93 octane um i would cut this down from being so high there as well um and i would do the same thing here and then i would grab the whole table again and smooth it out a little bit more um so your areas where your fuel mileage is going to be is you got your 32 to 40 range, okay, and then you have your 2000 to 24, which is going to be these tables here, okay. So for fuel mileage, you want to focus on there. Uh, partial throttle um, load, you want to focus on right around this area here, uh, and then obviously wide open throttle, you want to focus on this area here. Um, you can see here that there's this weird hump right here after I did that so you may have to go through and kind of adjust some of this stuff here uh, up and down a little bit if you want to get rid of a hump in the table uh, obviously it's not really letting me do it um, you can see what I mean hump hump it, it, timing tables do not have to be square like this and flat uh, they don't need to be perfectly smooth. They just need to be smooth enough that there's a decent, halfway decent transition. Uh, now, um, you, you want to go out, you make a scanner table for this, okay? You go here, go graph layout, okay? Create a new one, add graph, okay? You're going to want to do spark. It's probably timing advance. Let's see what it's listed as. Oh, timing advance, okay. Timing advance. Now, this was hooked up to a diesel, so some of the information might not populate for me, okay. Um, then you go back to editor. Cylinder air mass is going to be your rows. So you type in. Again, I'm hooked up to a diesel right here, so it might not give me any of this. So, right here, cylinder air mass. Sounds good. Okay, then you go back here again. Grams. Okay. You put... you. It's my bad. Right click. Row. Copy labels. Go back to scanner. Paste grams okay you're gonna do the same thing up here it's gonna be rpm 
go engine RPM, sounds good, go here, go back, columns, copy labels, go back, paste it in here, okay. Now here's your table. Obviously, again, I'm hooked up to a diesel right now, so you're not gonna get any information here, okay? So all your spark will populate in here. You need to make another one for spark retard. So we'll just change this table. So it says spark advance, we will type in retard and we will get knock retard. Okay, sounds good, boom you'll have one for retard as well and it'll come through and you'll be able to see it now obviously you want to pull timing if there's any type of knock retard um, you need to make sure that when you are tuning for timing that you go back to your file here you look for anything to do with burst knock okay burst knock you have to zero out all of this for now make sure you turn this back on you need to zero out all of this so it doesn't mess with your readings um, and then you need to go and watch my video on how to tell if the knock is real knock, which is spark knock, or if it is um, false knock. Because you don't want to pull timing if you have false knock or burst knock, okay? Uh, that's about all I can tell you or show you uh, with this for now. Um, this is a silver auto, uh, 25 degrees of timing is a little bit high for what I do. Uh, a lot of guys will run 25 on a silver auto. I prefer to only go 20 to 22, depending on the modifications. Obviously the more modifications, the higher we go with it. Um, so, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, if you have any questions when it comes to timing and how to set timing up on, uh, gen threes, just let me know.